Hey, dear saints, let's talk about hope and comfort after the suicide of someone we love. The question comes up often, Pastor, will my friend who committed suicide automatically go to hell? The person is seeking comfort and hope in the midst of their loss and their mourning and their pain. Well, we have hope in the word of God and in his promises. Mark 16, 16 reminds us that he who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. If a person goes to hell, it's not because of the sin of suicide on its own. It's because of unbelief. If the person that has committed suicide dies in faith, there is hope. St. Paul reminds us of this in Romans chapter 3. What if some were unfaithful? Does the faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? By no means. You see, there is our hope. Our salvation is not dependent on us. So many people believe that they have to be able to confess their sins. Otherwise, those sins are still locked to them. But that's not true. When we live in faith, that faith covers us somewhat like a big golf umbrella. That from Sunday to Sunday, if you have not prayed, if you have not asked for forgiveness, those sins are covered by the grace of God. Paul writes this in Romans chapter 3. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ is for all who believe, for there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that comes in Christ Jesus. You see, the sin of suicide is in there. We all have sinned, but that sin does not separate us from God's grace because I haven't confessed it. That sin is covered by Christ on the cross. At a Christian funeral, here are the first words that we hear after the invocation. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. You see, dear saints, suicide is a sin. It's a terrible sin, a sin that someone might fall into quickly that has large and eternal consequences. But suicide will not damn us. Unbelief damns us. Suicide is a mental illness. Would a healthy person cut off their hand? Well, of course not. Would a healthy person end their life? Well, of course not. Because of the evil of the world, because of mental illness, because someone is just simply overcome by grief, they sometimes make a bad choice. Because of Christ on the cross, we are forgiven. That person who takes their life in suicide, yes, that is a sin. But that person is covered by the blood of Jesus. If they die in faith, the promises of baptism, the promises of the cross, the promises of the resurrection are theirs. Even for someone who commits suicide, when they die in faith, there's hope. Because now they're resting with Jesus. No more crying, no more pain, no more suffering, no more death. And they await the time when Christ stands again and their body will be raised. Dear saints, there is hope. Those who die in faith, Go to be with Jesus. Remember your baptism. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.